Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bits be tripping. This is a recorded video. It's not a live stream. We've done live streams the last two days. And thank you guys for participating in that and providing lots of questions. There's a lot going on in the space right now. But what we're looking at, if you weren't able to join the live stream yesterday, was the pullback in hash rate when it comes to Bitcoin, Ethereum, pretty much across the board. Not so much Ravencoin. Ravencoin hasn't moved that much more down right now. It's just relative to its price decrease. But what's relevant right now and what people are asking about are GPU prices going to come down. As we've seen some of the hash rate come down, as we've seen prices come down. If it isn't the China ban, it's definitely the pricing that's going on right now in the crypto market. And people are wondering, is the crypto bubble bursted can you find cheap gpus part of yesterday's video i think i highlighted that profitability is while it's down it's not actually that bad because hash rate is actually falling out of alignment with it because china has banned cryptocurrency mining so a lot of the ethereum network ethereum network was at 650 terahash which is a lot and it's down 200 terahash right now even though the price hasn't really came back down too much it's been around that 2500 to 1900 price point for a while now but hash rate still we had a hundred more tera hash fall off it in the last day so yields are up for folks that are tuning into this video that don't care about cryptocurrency mining or just like bro can i get a cheap gpu soon this is the metric and the figures that i like to show people and we'll pull it up here on the screen for you guys can take a look at it and what this is showing you on the screen is the mining profitability so right now per one mega hash of output, you're around six cents per mega hash per day. So that means that effectively it's still six times more than it was in the crypto bear market. And the yield, so you have the pricing per day, and then you have the yields are increasing almost up 30% over the last couple of weeks. It just means that there's still going to be some draw on the graphics cards for a little longer. We do have EIP 1559 coming up here, which should withdraw a little more of that yield the transaction fee burning but the transaction fees have actually been down for the past month so anybody that's been tracking this have seen transaction fees move down from an extra two and a half ethereum per block down to almost 0.6 per block so we've had about a 75 percent reduction in transaction fees so the the network has felt that effect for a little bit now and we still haven't seen gpu prices come down yesterday if you saw me tweet this if you're not following me on twitter you are doing it wrong sirs you should be following me on twitter i post a lot of stuff ahead of the videos on twitter to let you guys know what's going on that's kind of my pulse to the market right away and i tweeted this video we'll let it roll right now what's up dudes i'm micro center today look at that twenty three hundred dollar they got lots of graphics cards in but they're still way overpriced 2200 for that one and they're wanting thousand dollars for 6700 xts all super overpriced my dudes yeah we're not back yet we this another four months to eight months if pos for ethereum comes out we might see some recent um, prices but obviously retail markets like yeah that's way overpriced um, no NVIDIA cards though. All the NVIDIA cards, only Quattros for folks wanting to know what's going on there. Only Quattro cards available. Let's see what these ones are. These ones here. Yeah, these are all def all server cards. And those are still stupidly overpriced. So only AMD is in stock. None of the NVIDIAs were in stock and everything's hyper overpriced. So we'll see. So as you can tell, that was kind of on the ground. Pricing is still crazy talk. So there's, there's this, what I like to call a rolling wave of how business reacts from, you know, a price gouging standpoint. The businesses right now are charging unbelievable amounts of money for some of this hardware. And if we pull up eBay real quick, you'll see the average auctions these days have been going from $1,400 to $1,200 closed auctions for like 6,800 XTs. When we go and we look at 6,900 XTs, which is some of the pricing that we were just looking at there, we're seeing around $1,600. So we're seeing $1,600 pricing, but $2,300 for return used GPUs. 
at Micro Center. So it's completely out of alignment. Right now, I would hate to tell you, but eBay is actually your, more of a friend than a current retail store is. So Micro Center, if you're watching this, you need to fix your pricing because eBay is kicking your butt right now. Let's look at NVIDIA briefly while we're looking at this too. No NVIDIA cards were at Micro Center when I was there yesterday. So we're looking at RTX 3070s on eBay, completed auctions, right around the same price as the 6800 XT. So we're still looking at 1300, 1250, somewhere around there for 3070s. 3080s are still pulling a high premium also. Nowhere near retail prices of $899. We're still at $1900, $1800, somewhere around there on the 3080s on eBay, closed auctions. And that is of as of June 23rd, 2021. Will or sin? So let's, we did a quick uh, viewpoint of where things are at. They're, while they're not in the stratosphere of $2,500, $2,800 pricing right now on GPUs, they're back down to still overpriced by almost double. We're looking at uh, the max should be about $1,800, would be double with retail prices $899 on RTX 3080s. Will they come back? So the question that you're looking for, and I have the link, we showed this chart earlier in the channel. What you're looking at from a mining standpoint, if you're tracking, is if prices recede further and yield holds off all the way to just the two ETH per block on Ethereum and you start to see two cents per one mega hash, you'll see pricing finally collapse on these GPUs. Just the weight of the network will not support the value generation there. Just when you're looking at two cents per one mega hash, you're looking at, you're gonna have to have six, five cent kilowatt per hour costing a pretty decent premium over the cheapest power that's out there on the network, which is about three cents per kilowatt. So the 10 cent to 12 cent kilowatt hour folks will start to fall off when we start to see this down to about four cents per mega hash. That's not included that any of the other ancillary coins such as Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin don't come in there with a higher price increase. So not a huge amount of news for the folks that are probably gamers that might have found this video. However, you guys have the tools to monitor what's going on in the system now. I'm bringing it to you guys, looking out after the folks that are trying to get also GPUs for other things than mining. And then of course, the folks that are looking for mining, you're also looking at what your, is it worth it to you or not for your particular situation. So hopefully this was a good quick one. I'll like, subscribe, follow. Even if you guys hate crypto miners, I provide a lot. I provide a lot of content to you guys that hopefully is valuable, both for crypto miners and just in general GPU space from just a different angle. So like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.